What's up everybody? This is Matt from Rocky's War Room and today I have another Let's Build video for you and this one is the Gar Outcast Rebel Commander and Battle Armor for the game Beyond the Gates of Antares, 28mm sci-fi game. Uh, this is uh, <clears throat> the second one, uh, the, uh, the second uh, model that I've gotten for the Outcast Rebels and I gotta tell you I'm falling in love with these. These are just just awesome looking and I love the leaf foliage and the bones and the <laughs> Just the, the, the cool stuff about, just the cool look of it. If we take a quick look at the back, it gives you a few more close-ups there of what the models look like when uh, the uh, box art, which is pretty awesome. It gives you a little bit of description, tells you about it. Uh, in this kit, you get one Gar Commander in battle armor, armed with a Scour Cannon and Plasma Claw, which Plasma Claws are pretty dangerous. <laughs> Uh, and then it gives you little instructions on how to build it. Um, this is kind of like the standard battle armor kit where you put the main body together and then you have the metal pieces that you add to it. So let's open it up and take a look. So, uh, all right. Is that everything? Yep, that's everything. Okay. So you get the standard uh, battle armor suit sprue. Um, looks like it comes with the plastic weapons in case you don't want to use it for... Uh, the commander, and I don't see why you wouldn't, uh, why you would, but uh, it's got a base on the sprue and all the components, the legs and things like that. So this is plastic, so I'll be using a plastic glue for this. Uh, any kind of plastic glue, uh, plastic weld, something like that would work great, or super glue. So now the metal pieces. What makes it the commander here? So we have the claw with its uh, signature uh, Rebel Gar um, implements onto it, like the green camouflage and stuff like that, the green leaves and stuff like that. <clears throat> the Scour Cannon. Again, it's a metal piece. Uh, we have the horns that goes on the back, the back piece. That's just cool. I think this is really awesome. Um, wow, this is really nice. Got a little bit of flash, but uh, not much. Of course, we're going to dry fit these to make sure they fit if they fit properly. It looks like, yep, we got a head, special head for the Gar Battle Armor Battle Suit, and of course, my favorite piece, the <laughs> Gar Skulls on top of the sensor up there. Lots of good detail on here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to build the plastic part first. And then, like, like it is on the box, and then we're going to add our metal implements to it. And what I'm going to be using for the metal is our gap-filling medium CA glue. So I'll be right back when, with, with the finished model.
All right, there you have it. There is the <laughs> Outcast Rebel Commander in Battle Armor. And I think he looks pretty dang cool. Um, I really like this. Uh, it's really awesome looking. Just the detail and the, the metal and stuff like that. This is going to paint up very nicely. Uh, I think the head's pretty awesome looking. Um, this extra little piece back here, the sensor and the uh, the gar skulls he has sitting there and the horns and stuff like that. I just think it, the, the aesthetics of it and, and, and the model itself and the metal pieces that they added to the battle suit um, just make it look really awesome. Um, but there it is. Um, troubles. So... Uh, as far as the head goes, um, if you saw and watched in the video, it's, uh, the head itself, the hole in the metal piece was uh, too shallow for the um, the notch that was there. Um, there's a there's a little um, I don't know, not even a quarter inch, maybe a couple millimeters uh, thick uh, piece that you're supposed to fit into a, a, a hole uh, inside this the back of this head here. I had to snip it off to make it fit um, nice and snug um, onto there. You just have to clip a little bit. Make sure you just test fit it and, and uh, uh, just cut it a little bit at a time, not all all at once, but just a little bit at a time as you fit it on there and just kind of wiggle it on there. Uh, you got to kind of take the back of the head where the hole is also, and you got to scrape the little flash that's inside of it. Uh, but other than that, you just kind of wiggle it on there and it should stay. Just hold it there. Um, another recommendation that I have is to uh, put this back piece on first. Um, because this might, this right here took the longest uh, to make sure it, it stood up. Oh, see, it's still drying on the base there. Uh, <clears throat> this took the longest to dry. Uh, I paused the video and just kind of held it there. Uh, I brought it forward a little bit. As you can see, the wires are actually, these wires are actually touching the back piece. And if I would have left it backing up straight up, these wires would look funny just hanging there. So um, make sure you bring it forward just a little bit just like that, and uh, put the back piece and in, in, in this piece on because it takes the longest. The arms weren't that impossible. They actually fit fairly well. I really didn't have to do much to it. I didn't have to clean off any flash or sand it, although I would recommend sanding the ball, ball joints um, on the metal itself just to give something to adhere to when you're gluing it together. But other than that, it looks great. I'm very happy with it. Looks like I'm going to be collect collecting the uh, <laughs> Outcast Rebels now because I just I, I love the look of them. I love the Gar in general. I, I think the battle suits are probably a uh, staple unit, just like the Boromites um, uh, are a staple unit for me. Um, but the Rebels for sure are is something that I'm going to be giving a try in the near future. Uh, they're so versatile with your other Gar, you could actually just throw the other Gar in with them and say, "Hey, they're Rebels" if you really wanted to. But I'm going to paint up the other battle suits and battle armor for the the rebel gar um as well so but that's it if you haven't subscribed please do please tell a friend like this video leave me some comments tell me what you think of this little guy uh think uh, tell me if you're going to collect some rebels uh that'd be great maybe some color schemes or something like that but last but not least for me to you ta-ta and we'll see you in the next video